My name is Gavin Evans and this is my spoiler review for Batman Arkham City where I talk about the story in depth. Now I did a review where I talk about the graphics, the gameplay and all that but I want to talk about specifically the story because I find it to be mildly frustrating. So where, where to begin? Well. I think everything with Protocol 10 and the countdown throughout the night is perfect. The way that story escalates has weight behind it, it's tense, it's thrilling, it's great. And then we've got everything with Batman getting poisoned by the Joker and how he has to find a cure before all of Gotham is poisoned. Like, that's a great storyline too. And what I love about it is that Joko and Hugo Strange are the two main villains, but they find a way to tie in Penguin and Mr. Freeze and Ray Shao Ghul and Talia Ghul, and they do, do it so seamlessly to me. You know, you need a cure and you need the blood of someone who lasts forever. Well, then Raish Al Ghul just makes sense there. So, yeah. So, so much of the story, I think, is just really fun. Like, it's not like there's a ton of thematic depths or anything. But no, is a game trying to. But, we get to a point in the game where Mr. Freeze decides to fight you for some reason. Which is just odd, because you're walking together... And then he just brings up Noah and now you're fighting. It just felt like you had to fight him for the sake of it. Which I'm glad because that fight is awesome. But come on, that is some weak writing. But then Holly Quinn takes the cure. And then you go to the steel mill and Joko is fine. He's doing great. You encounter him and then... Talia saves you and he takes her instead and then it turns out that Talia had the cure all the time and Joker's not cured and he's Clayface and then the other Joker is really sick and I'm not gonna lie, it becomes a giant convoluted mess. When I first played this game, I was blown away by the Clayface reveal. I'm just like, wait, what? That is incredible. And it's built up to really well, but here's the issue with it. It doesn't add anything to anything going on. Sometimes it's Joko, sometimes it's Clayface. So what? I don't care. Like, like if it turns out Joko was like dead already and Clayface was just pretending to be him, I'd be like, oh, okay. That's mildly interesting, but like, it, it's just, it, it's so pointless to me. And I like the boss fight with Clayface, but it was not a cohesive path to that. And then just everything with like Talia had the cure, and then Joko wanted to make it seem like he had it already. It, it's just... None of that works for me. I do think Joker's death legitimately has weight to it. Especially because he makes Batman drop it. And then he goes like, you know what the funny thing is? I would have given it to you. And Joker just laughs like, that is pretty funny. It's the perfect note for this character to go out on. And when Batman carries Joker's body outside of Arkham, you feel the weight of it. And it... It's oddly kind of emotional, to be honest. Like, it's like the end of an era. So, yeah, that really frustrates me. My other big issue with the story is Catwoman. Catwoman's story is shit. She's trying to, um... What, what's she trying to do? She has to see Poison Ivy, and then Poison Ivy wants her to get a plant from... Hugo Strange or something like that and she's mad at Catwoman because she didn't water her plant and it's just stupid. But here's the thing, if it was optional, okay fine, 
I don't mind playing as Catwoman. But it completely ruins the flow of the game. I remember when I first played it on PlayStation 3, the game begins with Bruce Wayne getting captured and then tortured. And I'm just like, oh, this is serious. This is going to be great. And the Catwoman section to begin with just ruins that. And then the Catwoman deciding to save Batman just kind of takes away the urgency of that moment. And I, like, if it was optional, fine, but you have to do it now, and it's just dumb. So, um, yeah, I still think so much of this game is great. I love this interpretation of the characters, the way it ties in all these classic Batman villains. Very entertaining. I really want a live-action Batman movie that feels like this. Serious, dark, but also comic booky, and I doubt it will ever properly happen, but um, whatever, I love so much of it, I just think it gets overly convoluted in the end, I think the Clayface twist adds nothing, I didn't mention Ra's al Ghul working with Hugo, because you're like, oh, okay, you know, it, it doesn't add too much, it, it's still, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, as passionate about that reveal. I'm just like, okay, yeah. But um, the other one really does seem pointless to me. So those are my in-depth thoughts on the story of Arkham City. But what are your thoughts on the story? Do you agree with me that the Clayface reveal is just unnecessary? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.